we want to get to Josh McDaniels. And Rob Parker has some stuff he wants to get off his chest. <laughs> We might hear music and everything. No, nah, we didn't got to go this all time. that way, Chris. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Raiders, of course, drop a 29-23 game uh, to the Arizona Cardinals. It is a game that the Raiders had in control. They let 20 um, nothing, Chris. 20 yep, nothing in that game. 20 nothing, And they are now 0-2, Rob. And 0-2, it doesn't sound bad. In a 17-game season, or even a 16-game for that matter. But, Rob, last year, seven teams started 0-2. None of them made the playoffs. I believe since 2020, 18 teams have started 0-2. None have made the playoffs. Since 1990, only 11% of the teams that have started 0-2 make the playoffs. And they're in a tough division. Now, that gives them an opportunity to beat some good teams uh, and, you know, get the records evened out. But I think it's going to be tough for them this year, Rob. And um, you, But Josh McDaniels, you know, anytime a team blows a 20-point lead, the coach definitely has something to do with it. So what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, Chris, it's just a really, really bad loss. Uh, the biggest blown lead in the history of the Raiders. They've been around for a long time. That speaks volume, doesn't it? And they've like had they, some bad years. Too. They have. They've never given up a twenty-point yep. lead, and they were they were sh- they were shut out, outscored Chris twenty-two to nothing in the fourth quarter and overtime. Like it's just fourth quarter and overtime. They were in Vegas. They weren't on the <laughs> road, and I I don't get to Josh McDaniels. I don't. I really don't. He didn't have success in Denver, Chris. He's the one who moved up to Trump. Well, Rob, he was 11 and 17 in two years. In Denver. actually a year and a half. Right. And you remember why he lost his job there too, right? Yep. He got caught cheating in London. where he got that from. Yeah, where'd that come from? (laughs) Chris, they had a game in London, and he got caught videotaping the 49ers walk through before the game. We heard this before. He's right. the one who moved up to draft Tim Tebow in Denver. He's the one who was offered and accepted the job with the Colts. You remember and left him at the altar, yep, Chris? Yep, yep, yep. This is all Josh McDaniels. I get it. He's been all he was with the Patriots. They had a lot of success. The Bill Belichick coaching tree is dead. It has rotten fruit on it. The list of guys, Chris, who have failed are, are is enormous. Matt Patricia. Joe Judge. Joe Judge. Romeo Cornell. Jim Schwartz. You Charlie know. Weiss. I mean, it goes on. It is huge. Goes You're back right. to Al Groh. Bill Do you remember O'Brien Al Groh? Was, pre- was okay. He was probably the best of the lot. But a lot of Rabel's guys. Rabel's not under the belt. Now, he no, played he for played Belichick, for him, but he was but never, never a coach. Right, never right. coached under Bill, so he doesn't count. Um, so if I'm a Raider, I mean, the Raiders keep, I, I, I get it. Last year, Chris, they had a great turnaround after the John Gruden fiasco. Rich Thomas, what is it, Tomaselli? Is that how you say it? Yeah, I can't remember I, how you, how you say pronounce it. It's it. A complicated, yeah. Last yeah, name. but their coach last year was interim. They won yep. the last four games and made the playoffs. And that season, you remember how bad the season Rich could have been Bisaccia. over? What did I say, Rich? It was Bisaccia. Yeah. yeah Rich Bisaccia. That, yeah, he did a good job. He did a good job, but they didn't yep. want to keep him because he doesn't have a big name and they wanted to go out. You know, they had signed Gruden to that 10-year, yep. $100 million contract. And you go out and you look at, Josh McDaniels, he has the pedigree. Oh, he's from the Patriots. They win Super Bowls. We want somebody like that. I don't get all the love for him because he just hasn't had enough success. And that game yesterday is the one you talked about it, Chris. Could be a season crusher to lose that game, be 0-2, and then try to make the playoffs. Like, there's no way you – it's one thing if you can't – Compete and you get beat and you're down twenty nothing and they jump on you and and you can't come but to blow a twenty nothing lead at home and right. to play that poorly I'm sorry that's some coaching there. 
No, look, Rob, I, I can't disagree with anything you said. Um, people have wanted, they want Josh McDaniels to be such a good coach. They do. You know, they would. And I, look, Rob, we could go down the line. There's a long list of guys who were great coordinators. Who didn't pan offense out. Offense or defensive coordinators, but weren't head coaches. Heck, Nathaniel Hackett, or as you call him, Nathaniel can't hack it. <laughs> He's the offensive coordinator for the Packers the last three years. He looks terrible, That's, Chris. Right. He looks he looks like he doesn't know what he's doing. He looks overmatched. Yep. And like and he, he was you had to think he was a good coordinator. They were 13 and 3 all those years, or 13 and 4 last And Aaron year. Rodgers won two MVPs. Yep. Yep. That's why I thought, I don't know Nathaniel Hackett from Adam, but judging from that, I thought, you know what? He'll be good in Denver. But he's, at least right now, it looks like he's overwhelmed. He's not caught, cut out to be a head guy. And maybe that's Josh McDaniels, because obviously he's been a good offensive coordinator, particularly with Tom Brady. <laughs> but um, Rob, he bad head coach in Denver, caught cheating, and now they're off to an 0-2 start when a lot, almost everyone believes that the roster is better this year than it was last year. They got Devontae Adams. What do you mean they're not making a play? Can you imagine adding Devontae Adams to your offense, Chris, and you're not making the playoffs? Right. Really? And he he only caught two balls yesterday. So um, I'm sure he was targeted 17 times. Yeah, he had a big game first game, one. right? Yeah, 10 catches, I think, 10 or 11. Uh, only two catches yesterday. And so, um, yeah, they, they got to figure some things out, Rob, because that division, I mean, we've talked that. Like, I, I look, I feel like they're the worst team in that division, although Denver's not looking very good. And But you can't give up a game like that, Chris, no. because of the division. Same thing. I know a lot of people, we talked about the Denver thing. About them winning the division, I just I didn't see it. At least they got to win. No, you know I, what I mean that's the thing. You, I agree, they don't look very good, but they're they're got to win. You know, and that's more than the Raiders say. Rob, the Raiders got the Titans next. Uh, that'll be tough. Yeah. Then they got Denver, and we'll see. You know, Denver's got San Francisco next week. Then they got the Chiefs, Texans, Saints. I mean, it's it's. It's going to be tough for the Raiders. It's a tough schedule, and they're off to a bad start. But Josh McDaniels, yeah, Rob, I don't know. I mean, this I would imagine that this will definitely be his last shot, don't you think? If he if he fails here, then, you know, you, you're just an offensive coordinator. Right. It's just amazing that he even got the second opportunity. After cheating. The cheating, and then... You know, when you back out of a job, too, some owners could have been afraid of him. But right, he, that wasn't cool. That's not that cool, cool, Chris. You all. give somebody your word, right? Like it would be bad. Absolutely, it would be bad if they pulled out on him at the last minute right. after you agreed to a deal. It would be a bloody murder, right? It would yep. be, he screamed bloody murder. How could you do that? You promised me that job. We shook hands, and then he he bails on them. Yep, you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, if you're not sure, just. Tell them you're not sure yet. They obviously wanted you. Right, you can't They'd accept it. They'd you a little time. Right, you can't accept a job on, if you're not going to follow through with it. It was a bad look. Uh, look at the Eagles, 14 nothing over the Vikings, Chris. Eagles they looking again. good, man. This will be, I mean, the Vikings are a team. We know they beat the Packers to open the season. And um, if they win this, Philadelphia, that's, uh, that's impressive. And Jalen Hurts, look, he does it differently. He runs a lot. Throws it okay, but his running is is what makes him. I, I don't even know if I'd say special, but it's certainly his best attribute. Right, a little at different. this point, yeah. But um, they're they're playing good good football. But I don't know. Well, I, as we, as we go forward on this, I, if you're a Raiders fan, do you, Chris? Are you just saying, hey, I'm a Josh McDaniels. I believe in him. They'll get it right. Or is this like headed towards a disaster? What could be a bad situation because they had that game in hand and that would have been perfect to get off to a one and one start. Absolutely. You win that game. That was that was a huge game for them. You're cooking with oil if you're one and one. But now you're 0 oh and two and um it's not looking good. History says you're in trouble. And so um you know they have no choice but to believe at this point, Rob.